Hey guys, this is Brandon at Zonkle Pottery Studio with part two of the Wild Clay Experiment. Look at one and get the backstory. And what I have here, I'm going to show you today how I mix, how I'm going to mix the B5 uh, mix clay that I get from the factory along with the clay that I got from Pennsylvania that's been sifted and so delicious looking. It looks like sand, but if you wet this, it becomes very full uh you know clay will come out somehow or you'll you'll you can mold it but i let it dry out a little more i'm going to use this mixing almost like a grog mixed into this b mix 5 which has next to no grog and i'm going to weigh it i'm going to make a batch batches not little tiny uh individual one at a time pieces but maybe make a batch let's say let's go with 10 pounds all right let me show you how i do it Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make small batches and experiment with it. And if I don't like the consistency or how it throws, I'll change up the formula. But so I'm gonna start off with this. I cut with my wire cutters, which is actually fishing line and two washers. And I cut off the factory uh, B-Mix B -mix 5 that I got from this uh, Baltimore Clay Works. And I'll put it on my scale. I'm gonna go with four pounds of this. And I'll stick it on my wedging table and then I'm going to add one pound of the Pennsylvania, we'll call it the Pennsylvania Wild Clay. I'm from Pennsylvania by the way. Now living in Maryland. Okay, so you see down here in the scale, you can barely see I have one pound. So now I'm going to mix it all together on my wedging table and see what happens. Let's mix some clay. So there you have it. Hard to see on the video, but um, it's if you could feel it, there's no grog, no sand. Here you can feel very, very little. And I'm gonna start with that uh, formula. And what I'll do next now, and you see there's a lot of wedging. Um, that's the most physical part of uh, pottery. You wedge your clay. That's why I have such big biceps. If you're wondering, now you know. So what I'll do is I'll put it in a clay bag and flip it up. And keep it from drying out. Clay dries so fast, it doesn't take much. And make make some more batches and then throw in the next video. See how it holds up. Alright, see you then.